This is the second of two videos showing the installation and configuration of the EQFTP extension in the Brackets text editor. If you have not already done the steps outlined in the first video, it is recommended that you review it first, then return to this video. As mentioned at the end of the first video, Brackets seems to work better when shut down and then restarted after the installation of the EQFTP extension and the general settings are entered. We begin this video after the restart of Brackets. For this video, you will notice that in the htdocs folder, the project location of the EQFTP extension, I have two subfolders, 2302 and 3361. These folders are going to represent subdomains or subprojects. I want a separate FTP connection for each. I have already created equivalent locations on the production server. Before doing this step, make sure you know the path to the destination folders on your production server and the FTP username and password required for the production server. Begin by opening the EQFTP tool. Click the Select Remote Server drop-down menu at the top of the EQFTP window. You should find that it contains no connections. To create a new connection, click the COG icon to open the Connection Manager. On the left, click the Create New Connection line. A new connection dialog box appears on the right, and you should note that there are three tabs. Connection, which is currently active, Automization, and Advanced. At the top of the dialog box, enter a name for the connection. This is only a label to help you identify it from any other connections. I will name this connection 2302, representing one of the two subprojects mentioned earlier. The server is typically your own domain name, unless there is a specific need to enter FTP period prior to your domain name, you can omit it. Leave the port number at 21 unless you will be using secured FTP. In this tutorial, we will use just plain FTP. The protocol drop-down is where you can change to secured FTP. Again, we will leave this setting at plain FTP. Enter the FTP username for your remote server in the username text box. Enter the FTP password for your remote server in the password text box. Click the Advanced tab when done entering the password. The remote path is the location on the remote server where the materials from your local machine will be uploaded to. Check with your host provider as to the actual path. For many shared hosting providers, the path is forward slash the word public underscore HTML, and typically these are all lowercase. The local path is where the local folder is that stores your files. Click the text box and a file dialog box will open. Browse to the location on your machine and click the open button. In this case, I will browse to the 2302 folder inside of the htdocs folder. The other settings can be left as they appear. I have skipped the automization section. I prefer to manually control my uploads and thus do not want to enable automated behaviors. If you want to learn more about the automated options, consult the EQFTP developer's documentation. Click the Save button. The connection should appear on the left of the screen. 
I am going to repeat the entire process, but this time creating a separate connection for my 3361 project. When I am done, I will save the new project and close the EQFTP Connection Manager. With the two connections created, I can move to either. I will begin with the 2302 project. Note that as I choose that connection in the Connections dialog box, the remote connection is contacted and the list of files and folders on the remote server appears in the dialog box. Also, on the left side of the brackets window, the 2302 folder has loaded and is now the working directory for brackets. If I change to the other connection, the folder on the left changes as well. If I change from one folder to the other on the left, you will notice when I open the EQFTP extension dialog box, the connection has also changed with it. To disconnect, at the bottom of the EQFTP extension window is a slider icon. This is the connection disconnection button. When clicked, it will disconnect an active connection or activate a disconnected connection. As the connections have been tested, changed, deactivated, and activated, you should have seen a series of small green notifications. These are the EQFTP notifications that we indicated should be shown during the initial setup shown in the first video. Finally, to upload a file to the remote server, right-click on the file in the left panel of brackets. Choose either Upload or Add to Queue. If you choose Upload, the file will be uploaded immediately. If you choose Add to Queue, the file will be added to the queue for upload later. To work with the queue, click the EQFTP Queue button at the bottom of the brackets window. Click the Start Queue button to upload all files in the queue. To see the result, click the EQ FTP tool icon and you should see the uploaded file now appearing in the server's files and folders list. As with any tool, the best way to learn and master it is to play with it. Good luck to you and I hope that this helps you with the EQ FTP extension for brackets.